Hello everyone, Sergeant274 here. Um, last time when we left off, I asked you guys what weapon you want me to take on the gargoyles with, and so far it's looking like the Black Knight Sword is winning. However, I had someone comment or message me and said, hey, you know, I wasn't able to get one of the Black Knight Swords. Um, all I have now is the Drake Sword. Is there a better sword that I can get in the game up to this point? And my answer to you is yes. I wrote you back and I taught, said that um, you can get the Gravelord Sword, so it's really not difficult to do. Um, so in today's episode, before we take on the Gargoyles, I'm going to go get the Gravelord Sword. I'm also going to show you um, how to get the Wolf Ring. I kind of missed that last time. And then we will actually go and get the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, Flip Ring or the Darkwood Green Ring um, from Shiva's Bodyguard there um, before we take on the Gargoyles, just because for a new player, um, it's a really cool ring to have. <coughs> Excuse me, and can help some people out. So what we're gonna do now, real quick, is get the Gravelord Sword. The Gravelord Sword is very easy to get. You can do this at the very beginning of the game, um, right when you get to Lordran. Actually, it'll probably be a suicide run because what you have to do initially um, is just like with the Catacomb Skip and getting to Pinwheel. Um, it's basically the exact same thing. However. Um, instead of rolling off that second ledge, or that first ledge you drop onto, um, you roll the opposite way. So, <coughs> first thing you're going to want to do is come down here and... Open this right here, if you haven't done it already. <laughs> Open that. You may die to the uh, gravekeeper here, that's okay, as long as you open this. Then all you have to do, if you are not able to save at the bonfire there, is just run back down from Firelink. But once you have that accomplished, all you have to do to get the Gravelord Sword, and it's actually better than the Black Knight Sword, uh, at least unupgraded is do the same thing we did earlier roll, jump off right here but roll the other way instead of rolling down roll right over here and heal up and you'll see down our path here is the titanite demon now in order to get the grave lord sword you need an eye of death in your inventory up to this point in the game you're not going to have an eye of death so block remember where i said Lock right there. And at this point, you don't even need to uh, fight this guy. There's your eyes of death. Now we have an eye of death. So block. Block. Turn around. Run to this coffin here. Hop in the coffin, and you are now safe. And you <laughs> basically now are going to be, um, well, I don't know how long it takes. 15, 20, maybe 30 seconds. He's completely lost at this point in time. Um, but you will be, oh, well you'll see here, you'll be carried down or warped to or whatever. You'll go to the Tomb of the Giants and you'll get to meet Nito. And you will tell Nito that you would love to join his covenant. And he, as a reward, you will get the a miracle, the Gravelord Sword Dance, and you will also get the Gravelord Sword. Unfortunately, the Gravelord Sword is very heavy and it requires quite a bit of strength um, but we should be good at, <coughs> excuse me at 20 and 18 that will be 20 strength and 18 decks which is what we currently have <coughs> okay so here's Morgan she's She's uh, not looking so hot right now, but later on we'll get rid of this mask and stuff. Alright, so, you're down here in the Tomb of the Giants. Uh, you'll be seeing this place later, by the way. Um, some foreshadowing there. Alright, so come over here, Nito. Enter his covenant. And for becoming a Gravelord servant, you get the Gravelord sword. And also the miracle, which we 
uh, aren't going to be using, but there you go. All right, now real quick, you can see the... Where's the Gravelord Sword? should be down here. Gravelord Sword. Horrible scaling at E and E, but it inflicts toxin. So it's really good for PvP. It also has a thrusting attack um, animation to it. But you can see it's pretty heavy there at 10 weight. And um, yeah, it requires 24 strength to one-hand it. But uh, obviously less if you, you're too handy in it. Which... There, that's what it looks like. And it has a uh, curved greatsword attack animation. Except for the R2, which is a thrust, which is really cool. So, you can see here, um, it's just a little bit weaker right now than the Black Knight Sword at 304 compared to, uh, well, the Black Knight Sword is 304. The uh, Grave Lord Sword here is at 297 over there on the right. And that's because <coughs> of the scaling of the Black Knight Sword. So, we'll, we'll actually use the uh, Grave Lord Sword a little bit here. That means I'm going to have to remove uh, probably that. I wonder if we can throw the Elite Knight set on there. Yeah, we'll, we should be able to actually throw on this and make it work, yeah. Alright, there we go. We'll go around looking like this for now. Um, and actually here, we're just going to Homeward Bone out of here. Oh my gosh. Got to get my Got to get my inventory all set up here. Homeward Bones, very, very valuable and useful in the game. Alright, so there you go. That's how to get the uh, Grave Lord Sword. Like I said, you can do that right away, very early in the game. <coughs> Actually, right when you get to Lordran after the beginning tutorial there at the Undead Asylum. Alright, so now... Hmm. Now we are going to head back up to... Here's a thrusting attack. Look at that. Bam. 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 Ouch. Really, dude. Get blown up. Alright. Now we're going to head back. Um, going to go to Firelink and then head over to Andre and then down into the garden to pick up the wolf ring and the flip ring so I will fast forward this part and meet you over there Okay guys, here we are back at Andre, and we are actually going to purchase the... Can we purchase anything? I thought he had the bottomless box. You know what, maybe he doesn't have the bottomless box. Here, I have to go back, <coughs> excuse me, to the undead <coughs> merchant there. Alright, disregard. He does have other decent weapons here though. Alright, so oh, forget it Andre. Get out of here. Just joking. Okay. Now we are going to go get the um, wolf ring, and then we're also going to go get the flip ring. Fortunately, when we get the flip ring, that means we will be unable to to wear any uh, medium or heavy armor. But the dodge or the the animations, ninja flips and stuff, well, well worth it. <coughs> That was a fail there. Oh my goodness, would you just thank you? Drop purple. Or don't. Alright, so yeah, we're coming back here again. I, I apologize. Last time I forgot, completely forgot about the wolf ring. That's another valuable ring, but um we're we're not really We're not gonna be able to use the wolf ring really, um, if we use the flip ring because we have the 
ring of favor and protection on it. If we break that or take it off, it breaks. So you can get another one of those in the game, by the way, but uh, we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go get the wolf ring. Wolf ring is located back over here by where we kind of fought the moonlight butterfly. Um, <coughs> before we get the wolf ring, I'm just going to get show you where another weapon is if you wanted to uh, go after it. There's one of these guys here. <laughs> There's one of these guys here. Thank you. Drop anything? Yes, purple. Thank you. Uh, there's a weapon over here. Watch out for these little snakes here, or whatever they are. Partisan. It's a spear. Alright, so when you first come down here, if you don't want the partisan, just make a hard right. You see this tree here. This tree, you can attack the tree. The tree will die. You will see a hidden passage behind the tree. There will be this silly looking thing down here, which you can chop. He will drop a green blossom, although he did not now. But they drop green blossoms. You will see another tree, which you really don't need to carry or uh, kill, but why not, right? Some free souls. Literally free souls. Alright. So he's dead. Then what you want to do is come up here. And there will be one of those giants, stone giants, that cast, you know, Tranquil Walk a piece on you. But uh, no need to fear. If you have the Grave Lord Sword, even Drake Sword. I think I killed one of those with a Drake Sword earlier in the playthrough. If You don't even need to kill this guy, actually. You can run and get the uh, Wolf Ring and just avoid this guy. If you wanted to. But up here is the Wolf Ring. <coughs> and what does the Wolf Ring do, you ask? And I shall tell you that it boosts your poise. You can see here, if I put it on, it boosts it by 40. See up in the upper right, it is 18 now, and it would be 58 if I put that on, and it gives you that cool little glow thing there. Alright, so, but for now we want to continue with our fast roll. So we're going to run and jump off the edge here, and lo and behold, we're right back kind of where we came in. And where'd this guy come from? Is there another one following me? Oh, did I rest at the, oh, I rest at the bonfire. <laughs> That's why. Guys, beginners, at this point in the game, probably you're not going to have enough strength to one-hand this weapon effectively. So learn how to two-hand it. <coughs> Go on the offensive. When you're two-handing, you don't want to play super defensive because blocking with a with a weapon is not nearly as effective with a shield and new players like I did in the past I, I've been one of them if you have a weapon that you can only two hand in one hand and blocking with a shield there's a lot of times you'll block and then try to swing it and that'll happen because it's hard to remember to block and switch to two hands and then attack all right <laughs> anyways look what we get to do again <laughs> we get to go Join the Forest Hunters. I hope Elvina will not be mad at us here. I really hope she will not be mad at us. I don't know if she will be or not, honestly. Stamina regen. That guy, Bandit, is coming after me there. Please, Elvina, love me. Oh, there we go. Good. So we'll join her again. <coughs> join the Forest Hunters. That will, in turn, bring out Shiva. Okay. So now to get the flippering. All right. We're not going to kill Shiva. We're going to aggro him when we kill his little ninja friend down here. But we're not going to kill Shiva. We're going to actually homeward bone out. Okay. So to kill the ninja. All right. You can talk to him. He doesn't say anything. We're going to kick him. All right. Learn how to kick. There we go. We're just going to kick him over the edge. Not, or punch him over the edge. Stay over here. Alright, now what we got to do <coughs> is quit the game. Like so. 
and then um, reload it. And I will meet you back in a second. Okay, everyone, I just quit, and here I am reloading my game save, or my game right from where I quit. And you will see here that when you reload it, he will leave his junk behind, and his junk includes humanity and the Darkwood Green Ring. Alright, <coughs> now I would highly recommend using a Homeward Bone and uh, not fighting Shiva, because if you kill Shiva, he will not come back. And like I said, he has some nice items that we may want later on in the game. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, I'm gonna, I'll show off the flippering now. Assuming I have, uh, you know what, let's put a little less, um, two, six, yeah, we'll put the Black Knight Sword on, and, actually that'll work right, no, that won't work, because, we gotta get rid of Havel's Ring, so we need a fourth of that, so that's not even close, um, Eastern Gauntlets, it's still not close. What's the lightest boots we have here? Will Eastern work? 17, that's 34. No, that's not going to work. Um, here, this is probably the best we can do. Hello, sir. You're my, you're my way. Alright, so this is the flip ring now. You have to be under 25% 20, or under of your total maximum uh, equipment burden in order to do it, but really really I'm not <laughs> all that drama all that build up and no alright you know what there this will work guaranteed see there back flips forward flips cartwheels handsprings whatever you want to call it so much more agile much more movement or uh, uh, range of movement with the uh, flip ring or dark wood green ring so now as a beginner, those are three easy things you can get. If you don't want the flip ring and you want more defense, to be more defensive oriented, then you can <coughs> go with Havel's ring for heavy armor, or you can wear lighter armor and boost your poise by wearing the wolf ring. So, it's up to you. Alright guys, next time, I will keep this on actually, next time I will meet you um, back at, I guess, Andre and we will go take on the gargoyle so uh yeah thanks for watching see you next time goodbye